Okay, good morning. So today we're going to do a meditation, but it's going to be an open eyes meditation. We're going to try and use this meditation as an excuse to understand deep science, the oldest science of all, the science of yoga. This science, you know, explains with a very good model. This is a model. It explains how the energy flows through the body-mind system. So this bottle has nadis, that means channels where the energy flows through. The energy could go up through ida or down through pingala and chakras. Chakras are points in the body, points in the body where the energy is transformed, where the energy gets stuck sometimes uh, and when the energy gets also uh, increased by transforming it and in total there are 109 marma points or chakras in the body um, 108 in the body and one that is above the body this is the sahasrara, sahasrara chakra um, or crown chakra right and then the chakra that has to do with the third eye the throat the heart the solar plexus sacral and the base, the root chakra, the muladhara. These are Sanskrit words. This science is ancient. This was even discovered before any, um, any glands or any organs in the body were discovered. So they understood the importance of these areas in the body and how these chakras are associated to certain forms of energy that manifest. So we're going to go from, just go from the top down to understand how it is and then we're going to meditate and in the meditation we're going to bring our awareness to the different chakras in the body, see if we can bring the energy up. That is why to meditate we need to sit up tall because if not the energy does not go up. Uh, we need to sit up tall and we need to feel that there is some kind of force pushing our, our, our head up as if they were pulling our head up so so the arms are relaxed your eyes are barely open looking at the screen and you might find sometimes the need to to close your eyes that's okay just if, if, the, if your eyes close just let them close but your effort is in bringing them up to see what I'm talking about I'm gonna go through these slides while I guide you in meditation but I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top. For you to understand, this higher chakra is the chakra where we experience pure bliss. It's connected to the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus. This is the chakra of the cosmic connection to the universe. There is no duality in this chakra. If the energy touches this point, which is above the physical body, we feel that cosmic connection, the experience of samadhi or nirvana or, or the peak experience that is um, the aim of yoga, right? The next chakra is the chakra in the center of the eyebrows, the third eye. These are mantras associated with the chakra, hum, om, ksham. And these vibrations activate this chakra. And as you can see here, this is the energy coming up through the left side and going down through the right side. And this is the energy that is passing through the center of the spinal cord. This is called the Sushumma Nadi. In this chakra, the energy manifests as anger um, or uh, total awareness, not grief, total awareness. So this is the, um, the center of the, of the brain, the center of command of the body. So if that chakra is open, you are aware of everything that's happening, but if the chakra gets compressed you feel anger that is why normally people that get angry are also people that are very aware of what's happened it's the same energy that manifests in different forms now here yes we have grief in the center of the throat or gratitude the same energy in the center of the throat where the thyroid gland is could manifest as grief or gratitude grief when it compresses gratitude when it expands and opens that's why we feel that our throat chokes. So the emotional body, the body of emotions uh, and the physical body are connected because it's the place where this energy manifests. If you feel like gratitude, you will feel that sensation in the 
in, in, the, in your neck area. That's called the Visuddha Chakra. It represents everything that is pure. Moving down, Anahata, the time of thymus gland, thymus gland, this one, the lungs, the heart. This is what Anahata means in Sanskrit, what never stops. So this is always working. The lungs are always breathing, the heart is always pounding. Here love manifests in three ways. Love, sorry, the energy manifests as love, manifests as fear, and manifests as hatred. And these three forms of energy cannot exist at the same time. That means when there is love, there is no fear, there is no hatred. When there is hatred, there is no fear, there is no love. And when there is fear, neither love nor hatred exist. So this is the same energy that manifests in these different forms in that chakra, in the center of our chest, Anahata. We move down, Manipura, that's, that's a solar plexus. This has to do with the all the digestive systems, organs, pancreas, liver, adrenal glands. Um, the element here is fire and the energy here could manifest as generosity, um, greed, happiness or joy or jealousy. So when you're jealous there is something there in this area that is creating like some, some, some strain there. And when you feel generous or joyful, that same area expands. So we look at this while we meditate, moving down the second chakra, Swadhisthana, Swadhishatthana, the, the, the chakra of the being. This is the place where creativity and procreation, because it, it has to do with the water element, it has to do with, with the the sacral bone and the sacral bone. Look, the sacral bone is, is here, right? Why is it called the sacral bone? And this is the coccyx. So this is the area where creativity and procreation manifest. Same energy. And the first chakra, the muladhara, it is the place in the area of the genitals where the whole energy, the whole energy, the whole spiritual energy that we are gets stored as kundalini. So from this chakra, the energy gets unwrapped and it moves up. So when we talk of energy in, in, so this is the science of yoga. When we talk of energy in science, we talk about different forms of energy. One form of energy could be seen as, as heat, uh, oxygen, and feel this is a famous triangle of fire, right? When we talk about the fire needs these three things. In Ayurveda, the energy has three different components. This is the this is the vital energy, this the sacred fire of life. As long as you live this is on. The Agni is a fire that is on. And it has three components that that complement each other. The prana, which is the vital energy the energy that is responsible for your functions in the body, circulatory system, respiratory system. This is the energy that we're going to explore today in the meditation, prana energy. It's a subtle form of energy. But there is also the ojas, vigor, energy that has to do with immunity, with well-being. The tejas has to do with fire, with radiance, with intelligence, with perception, heat. So these forms of energy are the ones, the, or the three components of the energy in the body according to Ayurveda. And this is the one that flows through the chakras, the one that we're going to explore today, prana. There are many types of prana. So keeping your body straight up, keeping your hands open, and keeping your eyes crack open, become aware of your body. Body is made up of atoms bodies made out of billions of cells. Every atom in your body was part of nature. It came from the earth, the food that you ate. It came from the water that you drink and the air that you bring. You bring into your body 10,000 liters of air every day. So put your body up straight and place the weight on your body where you're sitting 
inhale exhale slowly exhale just become aware of the base of your body the lower chakra genitals see the creative energy is stored there kundalini energy stored in the lower chakra and the base of your body when you inhale take your attention to that point inside behind your genitals and when you exhale relax let go your mind is energy your mind can move in and out of the body so the body is gross the air that you breathe in is more subtle than the body and the mind is even subtler than the air so the mind moves through space inhale again bring your mind to that lower chakra and when you exhale slowly bring your attention up 5 cm above the area of the coccyx sacral bone very close to the base of the spine Inhale, your attention goes there. Keeping your eyes crack open if you can. Try to keep your eyes crack open. Look at the slides. Barely look at the slides. Identify the area in the body where you are taking your attention to. So your body is very similar to the landscape around you earth at the bottom slightly above the earth you can see the water the ocean and now exhale and when you inhale move up to the manipura chakra the solar plexus above the belly below the ribs where the stomach is the chakra has to do with the fire element inhale take your attention to a point inside your stomach exhale relax this center this chakra is responsible for you feeling joyful it is also responsible for your jealousy your generosity and your greed two positive and two negative emotions can manifest here generosity or greed joy or jealous inhale take your attention there and when you exhale relax and let your mind move in all directions to the back of your body to the front of your body keeping your body straight up inhale again solar plexus right above the navel region your digestive system is there the heat the fire of digestion exhale relax and now when you inhale move your attention up to the chest region feel your heart this is the anahata chakra you've got lungs heart thymus the thymus gland this is a very important area in the body 
It is the region where we feel love when the heart opens. That's why we identify love with the heart. But if that same energy contracts, we feel fear or we feel hatred. Love can become hatred. Inhale, take your attention to your chest. Exhale, slowly relax your chest. One more. Anahatta Chakra, inhale. Observe the connection between the heart and the lungs. See what's happening there, hold the air. Very slowly exhale. Relax your heart. Relax your lung. Now take your attention up to your neck. Keep your body straight up, keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your hands open on, on your knees, your palms are facing up, but your mind is in your neck. Wrap your neck with your mind. Vishtua, Vishuddha, Vishuddha chakra, Vishuddha, thyroid gland. Inhale and take your attention to your windpipes trachea, esophagus, food pipes, or spinal cord, all the bundles of nerves that go through your neck. Relax your neck. Inhale again, take your attention to a point inside your neck where the thyroid gland is. Relax that point when you exhale. So the neck is empty space. The neck is the neck is connected to the blue sky. When the energy expands in that chakra, in the Vishuddha chakra, you feel gratitude throat chokes out of gratitude and the same energy could become grief, sorrow when it contracts. Inhale and take your attention to that point inside your neck. Exhale. Hum. Big smile. Allow your neck to smile. Inhale, attention there. And when you exhale, allow the mind to move in all directions. Up, back, sides. Remember your mind is less, is subtle, less dense than the air and than the matter that makes your body. One more. Inhale and your attention is in your neck. Make your neck smile and relax slowly. You are grateful for your body. You feel that gratitude in that area in the neck. And now inhale and slowly move upwards to the center of your eyebrow. Achna Chakra. It is the point where the pineal gland is and the epiphysis is there also. Center of your brain. Inhale and your mind goes through your brain from all corners, comes into that point. The command center of your body, the pineal gland. See, when you are angry, you feel the anger in this point but also your awareness is felt there, total awareness. Keep doing this. Inhale, your attention goes to that point. And when you exhale, the attention moves, the mind moves in all directions, passing through your body, passing through your brains. 
allow your mind to relax and expand. So when the energy reaches this point, you are aware. You know what is happening. One more inhalation. Focus the attention on a tiny point, the pineal gland. Exhale, relax. Allow your brain to smile. Just feel that you are aware of everything that is happening. You're a witness to everything that happens around you. And slowly, now when you inhale, take your attention above the head to a point that is one foot above the head. Shahasrara Chakra. The point where the crown of a king is, the top of the crown, one foot above your head. And when you exhale, allow the energy to relax slowly down through the spinal cord and also through the field of energy inside and around your body. Inhale. This energy is associated with the total bliss. There is no duality here. You can only experience one thing, which is bliss, ananda. Inhale, take your attention above your head. You might feel some tickling sensations in the top of your head. It's okay. And when you exhale, slowly, very slowly, feel the relaxation in your brain, your ears the back of your head, the whole body. Once again, your eyes are closed, your body is relaxed. You inhale and your attention goes up to the top of the head. One foot above your head. Hold the air, hold the attention in that point and slowly exhale and relax. Slowly down your head, your neck, arms, center of your chest. solar plexus. Relax. Your body is like a sunset. You inhale and it's all space above. And as you move slowly down, the space becomes air, fire, sun, water. Keep doing this. You inhale and you go up to the top of your head. Feel the connection with the universe. And when you exhale, like a shower of bliss coming up out of that point, showering your body, relaxing your body. Your eyes are closed. Your body's still. Your mind is free to move. Allow the mind to follow the energy, the prana, that is moving up and down through the channels, the nadis, inside your body. Inhale, the prana moves up to the top of the head. Exhale, the prana moves down. The energy that allows everything in our body to flow with the minimum effort, body relaxed.
and very slowly, gradually, become aware of your body. And you can stretch your legs, you can take a nap, you can relax, you can lie down. If you need to lie down, you can lie down and just experience the bliss, the peace that you are. All the stress, all the tension disappears. Only love, gratitude, joy. When your body is relaxed, the energy manifests in a very positive way. Just feel that gratitude, that love, that joy that you are. Peace and awareness. Namaste.